I'm sure you've heard that Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes, or that's what the state uses as a, a, a thing, and, and it's under how many we actually have. But one of those lakes um, is an incredible body of water to fish. It's 55,000 acres now. It's a big lake, so it's not something that you take lightly. Um, bad weather can come up there and you can be rock and rolling even in a big boat. But most of the time it's not bad weather, it's good weather. And, and when it is, Leech Lake um, by Walker, Minnesota is a place you want to go to. I got to fish with Jeff and, and, and uh, Bobby. We fished five hours, maybe six hours, something like that total. And in the course of that, we had Jeff had one walleye that was over 10 pounds. Bobby had another one that was nine or nine and a half pounds. Um, I had a couple of, uh, we had several other seven, eight pound fish. We were targeting big fish. We were using bigger minnows and it's the time of the year and in October when that water starts cooling down that those big fish start to go on the feed bag. Fish feed for three different reasons. Sustenance, to stay alive, to grow, and to fatten. And when they come into this fall period, they're gonna be looking for the biggest meals that they can get to fatten. So your opportunities to catch big fish are generally best in fall. And then you give them big bait to work with. But the walleye population is unbelievable. Tremendous amount of fish. And nobody knows more about it than Jeff Arnold, who owns Reed Sporting Goods in Walker. They have two retail locations, and I believe as a retailer in, in America with just two locations, they're by far the largest. I know that their amount of business that they do is more for a lot of companies than the distributors do for those companies out of a retail store. Um, they do online as well. Amazing place. And the people live it. Their whole family lives the outdoors. They love the outdoors. Spearheaded by Jeff, and, and that's why it was so much fun to, for us to fish that day together. Walleyes are just one thing that they have. In 1954, there was a phenomena that happened on Leech Lake that the world doesn't know about. It's never happened anyplace else before, but it happened in Walker Bay, where the big school of muskies, God knows how many, surrounded a bunch of ciscos, and they like had them corralled, and they were jumping out of the water after them, and, and it went crazy. Went on, the phenomena went on for two straight weeks. There was 100 or two or 300 muskies caught by various people uh, that were coming out there and back then they took them and ate them you know it was it was insane the amount of fish that came out of there and the musky fishing is still very good in the lake there's also big pike in the lake there's also big largemouth now big largemouth in minnesota if you're talking six pounds or better that's a giant largemouth five pounder is a good big one and anything six or better is a giant now smallmouth They've got a great population to them as well, uh, but they're not quite as big, but you can still get some very, very good sized, healthy smallmouth, four or five pound fish. Crappies by the jillions. Used to be a lot of two and, a, two and a half pound, three pound crappies even caught at Leech Lake. They're not that size anymore, but they're still uh, two pound crappies and bigger well, within the lake, no question about it. There's also real good sunfish fishing. I mean, nice gills in some places. There's great burbot fishing. And you might say, what's a burbot? A, fr a freshwater lingcod is what they are. Um, people call them uh, eel pout or other things. They come up, they're very, actually very good eating fish if you know what to eat on them. The sides of, two sides of the tail and the top of the back strap and throw everything else away. That is like freshwater lobster. Boil it up and put it with garlic butter I mean, it's hard to tell the difference between it and uh, lobster. It really, really is. And then there's white fish, big ones. Um, there's um, perch, lots of them, and really, really nice ones sometimes. There's so many kinds of fish. I mean, there's more, you come up there and try and fish a different fish every day, you couldn't do it in a week. It'd take you about two weeks to cover all the different species of fish there, if that's what you were after. So it's, it's, it's a, a factory, a fish factory, and it's, it's got deep water and a lot of shallow and a lot of weeds and so many things that give it the ability to be what it is, an incredible lake to fish. Now, Jeff 
decided to build an incredible place to stay when you come on up to enjoy the fruits of Leech Lake. And that's a resort complex that they built. It's called Trapper's Landing. And that's where we stayed when we were there in one of the cabins. I mean, it was like the Taj Mahal, for God's sakes. Each, each one of these things are, are incredible. You look at them and you go, holy buckets, I can't imagine what it costs to build something like that. You can cook your own meals. They've got a restaurant you can go eat at or there's other restaurants you can drive to. But the different designs of the different types of units that they have is kind of cool. Inside and out, they're, they're, they're just plain sweet. Some of them got fire pits outside where you can have a nice fire and sit around it in the evenings. They're, each one is kind of unique. They all, as a group, make up Trapper's Landing, but they're all different, which is something I thought was very, very nice. They've got a beautiful marina. They've got a beautiful pro shop, tackle shop. They've got knowledgeable, good people working there, guys that fish themselves, that work the, the dock and, and the, the minnows and all of that kind of stuff down in the dock area. It, it's set up to serve you whatever it is that you need and serve you in first class style like you can't imagine unless you've seen it or been there. So let me encourage you to number one, do some digging on Leech Lake and you'll find out everything I told you is an understatement to what's really there. There's a lot of catching to do on Leech Lake. Secondly, Trapper's Landing is something that you've got to see in order to believe well, how incredible it is. But the best thing you can do right now is go to trapperslandinglodge.com and then you can see what it's all about. You can see the inside of the units, the outsides of the units, and see if it's something where you would want to take your family on vacation. Or you want to come up with a bunch of guys and just go hammer the lake for a while. I know I'm going to be up there again more this year. I've fished leech many, many, many times over the years. Leech is not that big and it's broken up more and there's more bays. You can always find some place to fish and some place to put your boat in at to get to those places you can fish if it's too windy to cross the main portion of it. It doesn't get much better than that. It has so many species and it has the ability to grow so many species that you're not going to fish out Leech Lake. And they monitored very closely. When the walleye population was going down, they realized the problem is cormorants and they took 10,000 of them out. And that two years or three years later, the wildlife population was back. The cormorants were eating just plain too many of them. I hope you take my advice and check out Trapper's Landing and check out Reed Sporting Goods in uh, Walker and come on up and visit Minnesota and do some fishing on the lake where you can catch damn near any kind of a thing you want but catfish. So give it a try. Trapper'sLandingLodge.com is where you want to start.